what a tutorial that we are going to start. We need to understand what's the main purpose of providing staking capabilities. When we start talking about DeFi staking, it's no different from your traditional banking system. As the holder of an account will deposit currency into a vault and the platform will use those funds, will use that asset to provide loans to back the value of a coin. Staking is one of the main aspects or the main benefits of decentralized finance. It will allow me as a holder of an asset, as a holder of a collateral to deposit that collateral into a decentralized financial institution or in this case, a virtual bank or a decentralized bank and earn rewards, a yield interest, because I provided that institution collateral to back another token. That's one good use case for staking. One of the main items that we have to dominate from start to finish is going to be the MasterChef smart contract. The MasterChef smart contract is going to calculate the time that X amount of tokens were staked, were held in the contract. And based on the time frame, we are going to be issuing a reward. We need to understand how the MasterChef smart contract is going to determine how much you earn based on X amount of tokens that you staked. Okay. But for that, we need to determine one thing. I need to determine how many tokens am I going to be offering as the reward for that pool. Okay. So listen carefully. The MasterChef smart contract is going to have a value stored that will determine how many tokens am I going to be mining in the sense of DeFi staking. Mining is the action of generating the amount of tokens that we will be distributing across all the pools that I have. There's going to be a global amount that will be mined per block. Okay. What we need to do, we need to understand how many tokens are we going to be minting or mining per block? If we talk about blocks and how many blocks do we want to have, let's say, for example, in 24 hours to be able to determine how many tokens are we going to issue to user X, I need to know how many blocks will the blockchain process in 24 hours. For that, it's very simple. All I have to do is I have to look, do a quick search. How often does a block gets processed on Binance Smart Chain. You decide to deploy your platform in Binance Smart Chain. I need to know how often do we have a block process. We will see that Binance Smart Chain processes a block around 2.5 to 3 seconds. So every 2.5 to 3 seconds, we will have a block process, which means that I can say the following. You know what? I am going to be mining three coins every time a block gets processed. If we take the example of the Polygon blockchain, we have a block process from 2 seconds to 2.5 seconds. I want you to generate three tokens every block process. Let's understand what happens the moment we deploy the MasterChef smart contract and the dApp goes live in the mainnet. You ready? Yes, I am. Let's go. Every two seconds, that number of tokens continues to increment. Block process, token generated. Block process, token generated. Let me make it very clear. The MasterChef smart contract is not going to send a mint request to the token smart contract every two seconds because that would be exponentially expensive to deal with. I don't need to do that. All I need to do is to count at the end of any staking event, how many tokens were generated during X time frame and offer that reward. Then I will do the mint event during the unstaking or the staking event. Why I need to mint those tokens in advance? I don't need to do that. The block number is going to determine the time that X user staked the tokens 
in the MasterChef contract. I started staking the tokens in block number 17300. I decided to unstake the tokens 40 blocks after, which means that I will be unstaking the tokens in block number 17340. The MasterChef smart contract is going to have a global parameter that is going to dictate how many tokens will be mined, will be minted per block, which means that every X amount of blocks will be the factor, will be the value that will determine how much reward X user is going to have. Okay. All I need to do is let the user hit and process that transaction on my behalf. All I need to make sure is the algorithm has the formula that will dictate how many blocks were processed since the user state and the user on state. So all we have to do is we have to capture those values and store that in the MasterChef contract. That's all we have to do, okay? But here's the thing now, we have a pool of coins and now I need to understand how many tokens am I going to be emitting to pool number one, for example. We have something called the pool allocation, okay? That is quote, I'm saying quote because that is not necessarily a percentage, but it can be referenced as a percentage to make your life easier. The pool allocation is the percentage of tokens that I am going to be associating or I'm going to be emitting to pool number one. Let's repeat. The pool allocation is the amount of tokens that the master chef smart contract is going to emit to X pool. We have 129,200 tokens if we decided to mint or generate three tokens every block, which means that I not only have one pool, I could have two, I could have three pools. I have to make sure that I equally distribute the amount of tokens that I generated with the DeFi staking contract or in this case, the MasterChef contract, okay? So the pool allocation is going to assign X amount or X percentage. We have pool number one, and we decided out of the 129,600 tokens that we generated in 24 hours, we are going to be dropping 30% of that supply to pool number one. We got pool number two. Pool number two, we are going to be issuing 35% of the total supply that we minted in 24 hours. Pool number three, we are going to be providing or emitting 35% of the supply that got emitted in 24 hours, okay? The sum or the total value of the entire pool allocation, it's called the total allocation. That is the sum of all my pool allocations. Why it's very important to know that? It's because with that, I will have a formula that will effectively distribute equally the amount of tokens that I need to distribute to every single pool. Once you see it in action, you're going to definitely get it. It's basically a way for me to correctly distribute, I think it's the best term, the amount of tokens that I will be distributing to every single pool. Let's talk about the actual emission rate. How many tokens I, as a staker, will receive? For example, I stake on pool number one. Let's go ahead. Let's take a look at the holy grail of the MasterChef staking smart contract formula, broken down piece by piece. Pay close attention. Okay, let's do this. Let's assume there's a single staking pool. I will be staking 41,000 N2DR tokens in this pool. The tokens will be staked for 24 hours. Let's do the math to determine how many reward tokens would I receive as payout if I stake for 24 hours. The first formula we need to solve is to obtain the multiplier. In summary, the multiplier is the amount of blocks generated in the blockchain during the period I staked my tokens. It's easy as getting the last block number when I unstake the tokens and subtract this by the current block number when I initially stake the tokens. We also have another value that we will multiply with the result of the subtraction. This value is the bonus. Don't worry, I will explain this later and it will make sense. For now, let's keep this value at 1 so it doesn't affect the formula's result. So I've unstaked the tokens at block number 60,500 and initially staked them at block number 17300. We will subtract those two block numbers. We should obtain the amount of blocks during a 24-hour staking period. Then multiply this by the bonus amount of 1. We will modify this later to show you the benefit of the bonus number. We end up with a multiplier value of 43,200. 
This is the amount of blocks generated in 24 hours, and because we multiplied this by 1 we didn't affect the value. Let's set this value aside, because we will use it on the next formula. Cool reward. This is the amount of tokens that a MasterChef smart contract will designate to each staking pool to distribute among the staking members. To solve this formula and obtain the pool reward amount, we will pass the multiplier value previously obtained, then multiply this value by the amount of reward tokens mined or minted by the MasterChef smart contract every time a block gets generated. The result is then multiplied by the pool allocation value. Finally divide the final result by the total allocation value. Let's solve it. Multiplier obtained, 43,200 times 3 tokens, minted by the MasterChef contract per block multiplied by 30,000 basis points. Then divide by 100,000 basis points. We end up with a pool reward of 38,880 tokens every 24 hours to this staking pool. Once again let's set this value aside since we will use it in the next formula. Pool token reward per share. This will be the amount of reward tokens paid per stake token. When we say the word share, we are referring to each stake token. Very simple to obtain. We now grab the pool reward value previously obtained then we divide this amount against the total amount of tokens currently staked in the pool. Let's solve it. 38880 is the pool reward divided by 41,000 total stake tokens. We end up issuing 0.948 N2DR tokens per each token staked in the pool every 24 hours. We can round this value to 0.95 tokens. We are not done yet, here comes the fun part. Let's set the reward per share value aside since we will use it on our next formula. Let's find out how much I earned staking my tokens for 24 hours in this pool. To find the total amount, we need to multiply my staking amount with the reward per share previously obtained. I've staked 41,000 tokens in the pool. As you can see I am the only one staking the tokens since the total staked amount on the pool is 41,000 as well. We multiply 41,000 times 0.95 and that gives us a total of 38,950 N2DR tokens earned in 24 hours. Now let's change this to a more real scenario. The total staked token amount has changed to 324,100,346 tokens. I still have the same 41,000 tokens staked on the pool. More stake members have staked their tokens to earn rewards. Let's recalculate to see how much did the reward per token got affected. The multiplier value stays the same. The pool reward also stayed the same. Here's where it changes. The reward per share needs to be recalculated. Now we need to divide the pool reward, 38880 against the 324,100,346, which is the new total staked amount. The reward per token is lowered from 0.95 to 0.0012 and 2 DR tokens per share. Why? Because now we need to distribute 38,880 rewards tokens issued by the MasterChef contract to the pool amongst the 324,100,346 tokens staked. Now let's find out how much reward tokens I've earned by staking my 41,000 tokens in this pool. The staking reward has lowered obviously. Now I will earn 49.2 and 2 DR tokens every 24 hours with my 41,000 staked tokens. Finally let's work with the multiplier bonus. Let's now raise this bonus value from 1 to 2 and see the outcome. Now the multiplier value has doubled to 86,400, also made the pool reward value double to 77760, and ultimately the reward per share doubled, which changed the emission rate to double reward per token staked. Now I will be obtaining double the staked reward. It has increased to 98.4 N2DR tokens every 24 hours. Now you can see the power of the bonus. So when we add the bonus onto the multiplier, we add the bonus, we can effectively raise the amount of tokens that we are going to be issuing to every single pool, which is very important to understand, right? When we want to raise the bonus multiplier, we can do so and generate more tokens or emit more tokens as reward. As people start depositing those tokens into the staking smart contract, we're definitely going to be lowering that interest or the reward interest rate, okay? Raising the pool bonus to give a little bit more incentive and incentivize users to participate more into staking, okay?
Now that we understand the math logic on a single staking pool, let's add more staking pools and see how the bonus affect the reward per rate. First let's raise the bonus once again, this time from 2 to 3. Pay close attention to the values. As we know they will increase due to the bonus increase. We are already aware of pool 1 reward per share. By adding additional pools into the MasterChef smart contract, each pool will have a unique reward per share emission rate. Pool 2 has been created and enabled for staking. This pool pays N2DR tokens for X amount of USDT tokens staked. Created pool number 2 and right away my earned tokens in pool 1 went down. Why? Remember, we only have one amount of tokens generated every 24 hours, which means I have to equally distribute the amount or based on the pool allocation, I should be able to deposit the amount of tokens required. Now I have another pool. Now I have to make sure that I have enough tokens to supply the 35% pool allocation requirement to pool number two and the 30% to pool number one. Pool three has also been created and enabled for staking. This pool pays N2DR tokens for X amount of Matic tokens staked. With a third pool, now guess what? I am adding once again more requirements or I am adding another pool that I have to also provide the required pool allocation, which means that it's going to even lower the earned token reward across all my pools because I am adding more pools. It's going to be an amazing journey. It's definitely one of the most important aspects in DeFi. And I definitely want to congratulate you for taking the challenge because it's definitely going to teach you a lot of logic, how to think when it comes to deploying such a complex application. That's it for this video. Get ready because we are learning the ins and outs of the DeFi staking MasterChef smart contract. And by the end of this tutorial, you and I we will both build our own DeFi staking platform. That's it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and you now know what happens in the staking pool. How many tokens do I earn? Now you know why. Now you know the ins and outs, okay? Thank you so much for your support. Hit the thumbs up if you like my video, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye.